Hi, love your background. Thank you. So I was inspired and my shirt as well. Oh, look at the shirt. I hadn't seen the shirt yet. Wow. Love it. Big congrats. Thank you. A big congrats on Frida. It's an eye-opening documentary and thought-provoking documentary using her own words. Brilliant. Thank you. It's been it's been so so exciting to be able to like bring her own perspective and her own words to life through this film. So I'm I'm really excited to connect to audiences with it. Give us the genesis. I mean, you've edited other excellent documentaries like Julia or RBG. So why set your sights on Frida Kahlo and make this your directorial debut? It was the story that told me that I had to do this and direct this. Um, I, you know, I, I came when I came up with idea. Um, I had been obsessed with Frida for you know a few decades. I knew her art really well, and I had an emotional connection to her art. It had really sustained me emotionally through moments in my life. Um, I, you know, I'm also a Latina immigrant, so I, you know, I grew up in Latin America. I knew the universe that that informed her and inspired her and created her in, in an emotional way as well. And then, yes, I was bringing the experience that I had as a documentary editor into this story. And it was just the combination of all those things that when I saw the opportunity to really bring her words to life and her voice to life, I said, you know, I have all these connections and, and maybe I have a know-how to. So let me, let me try it. Let me go for it. Wow. You know, I, in creating this documentary, let's talk quickly about some of the, the technical uh, liberties that you use. For mm -hmm. instance, the, I love the way you use the animation, mm -hmm. the way you animated some of her artwork. What made you decide to do that? It was a, I knew that it was a bold choice because obviously, you know, you are bringing some movement and into, into art that is iconic art by uh, an iconic artist, right? It's, it's a bold choice to, to play with, with her paintings a little bit. Um, what we really wanted to do is keep, always keep the intention, the emotional intention that Frida had for those, for those paintings um, and, and add movement so we could actually guide the audience through the emotions in those paintings. Um, yeah. When you, you know, we needed to take these paintings into this cinematic universe, right? It's not the same experience as being in front of a painting and having that conversation. We actually wanted to, in a way, replicate the conversation that you can have with a painting in a museum, but then in this different art form that is film. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'm really, really happy that we made that decision because it was a way to immerse the audience into you know, I'm saying it, the pool of her emotions and the pool of her thoughts. So that that's the tool we use. You know what, let's quickly talk about Frida Kahlo, the art, the woman, right? To me, I think I noticed that, you know, she's, she's more authentic or she, she came off more authentic when she's doing her gender, gender bending, mm -hmm. right? Let's talk, did you agree with me on that? Let's talk, talk to us some more about that. Yeah, um, you know, she also guided us through the way that she kind of wanted to talk about it. Um, it was, you know, she was in, in, in a bit of, in a community that was more accepting, but the society at large wasn't at that time. Um, the same as feminism, right? The word feminist wasn't, wasn't there. I wonder how she would have identified herself now with the terms that we have now to talk about it. But it was just really special to see how, in a way, open she was about it. And she was even open in front of her family about it. Some of the pictures that we have of her, you know, as and she's dressed as a, as a boy, those pictures, those photographs were taken by her father. So, yeah. which was, you know, wonderful to see. But it was, it was in her art. It was it, also her queerness was in her art. She was open about her queerness with friends and family. And we really wanted to, in a way, talk about it in the film, the way that she addressed it in her writings. Yep, I totally, totally agree. I love her rebel heart. That's probably why people like Madonna loves her. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and, and that's the thing. It's like she didn't try to, like, defend it or explain it. 
it was just there. Like, this is who I yeah. am. And the way, the same way that, like, she presented her desire and, ple and like, physical pleasure, she, you know, and sexual pleasure, she just expressed it. And I love that. Oh, and I love the film. So a big congrats again, Miss Carla, and long live art. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye.